a particle is decelerating with its modulus of the acceleration being a root v so it's the modulus of acceleration which means actual acceleration is minus a root v because it's given that it is retarding so acceleration is v dv by dx is equal to minus a root v where this negative sign indicates deceleration now if initially the velocity is given as v naught we need to find how much distance it will travel before it stops and how much time it will take to do that so here we wrote acceleration in form of v dv by dx because we have a term of v here not a term of time so we'll take root v down this side dx that side and we will get a relation between velocity and displacement now we need to find the distance before it stops so when it stops velocity will be zero so we'll find the position at what position it stops that will be our answer b part how much time it will take to cover that distance this time the same equation minus a root v we will write in the form of dv by dt because this time we want the relation between v and time so again we will integrate both sides and we will get a relation between v and t and this time when v is zero we will find at what time this happens so in this problem we wrote the acceleration in two different forms so we wrote it in this form because we wanted a relation between velocity and position and we wrote it in this form because in second part of question we wanted a relationship between velocity and time so when velocity is zero what is the position and here we needed what when velocity is zero what is the time